If beech leaves have got a shiny upper surface and the lower surface has got a white woolly layer to it, this is probably an indication of attack by the woolly beech aphid. White woolly material is a form of wax used as a camouflage. This isn't so unusual when you think that honeybees produce little scales of, of wax that is used to create the honeycomb. The aphids are found on the under surface of the leaf, mainly concentrated along the central midrib. This contains relatively large phloem vessels. These are the vessels that carry the sugars made by the leaf down to the rest of the tree. Large numbers of aphids, particularly on things like seedlings, can cause damage to the tree because of the energy they're taking away. When aphids remove their mouth parts, the phloem continues to flow out for a while and that forms these sugar globules that usually flatten out in little plates that are called manna. This is made of dried sugar. The pressure of the phloem passing into the aphids is so great that it passes right the way through their body and what's called honeydew falls as a sort of rain and lands on the upper surface of leaves below it. These become coated in this sticky sugar that attracts wasps and bees. Also, eventually, it attracts what's called sooty mould. It's black in colour, and this further reduces the plant's ability to photosynthesize by coating in a black substance, the mould. If it would produce at phenomenal speeds, get vast numbers appearing. But they're not like some insects where you have like a caterpillar stage and an adult. They go through several stages called instars. Each of these is slightly different. When they molt, the exoskeleton is left lying on the surface of the leaf. Finally, they pupate in a cocoon that's covered in a thick layer of this fluffy, woolly wax. This eventually hatches out to give a winged adult.